Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Hoping you guys are having a fabulous day. If you don't know already, yesterday we did get our update and preview notice and it was actually really weird. So in this video, I'm going to help you guys out with a lot of different things. If you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, ticking the notification bell, and leaving a like because it helps out massively. Let's try to crack 75 likes in this video. If we do, you guys are insane. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it and let's start talking about what we got. All right, we're jumping over here. We got our tier list. This is the same tier list that I made in my last video. I got all the un released units over here everything that we currently do not have over here on global just a reminder we don't know what's happening with collaborations i would like to make this disclaimer remember that ReZero and stranger things are currently in the files so those two things could possibly come out in between this but right now i'm gonna help you guys out if you should summon or skip or hell no on some of these things first thing we gotta talk about is elaine right now elaine is officially dropping on global tomorrow uh, first of all, to give it to you as a flat answer, hell no. If you summon on lane, you are wild, my guy. That is not a good choice. Do not summon on that. I beg of you, don't do it. I don't know what Netmarble even plans. I do not understand what Netmarble is doing by releasing uh, a lane this early. Reminder that these units right here, <laughs> these Summer East and Summer Valenti, completely got thrown away in trash, completely. Right now, I feel like Netmarble is about to do the dash. They're literally going to speed run every single banner over here on Global, so be prepared. The one-year anniversary unit might be like assault mode meliotis and the one s corner gets pushed like earlier honestly i have no idea what net marble plans because again there are still collaborations happening but for this video i'm not going to try and speculate anything i'm gonna let you guys know with a definitive answer if you should summon or if you should not summon. moving up with king arthur again you're literally going to summon with this banner and i'm telling you now you have to summon on the one Escanor. The one Escanor is a completely broken unit, and really, right now on uh, JP PvP, it's just the one Escanor being run. He's currently destroying Assault Mode Meliodas. I feel like a lot of people did not summon on Assault Mode, or there's just not really used as much. Right now on JP PvP, the only thing I'm running into really is the one Escanor. Moving up with Assault Mode, I'm gonna save this one for last because I wanna talk to you guys about one other thing in between. Moving up for Jericho, it's a big fat no. I'm sorry, again, you might like Jericho. She will probably be on like literally every banner there's no point to summon for jericho do not do it she'll be here for free you can literally get her she'll be on those ticket banners the human race banners on all the banners so don't worry about her moving up for uh summer east and the summer valenti honestly i personally really wanted to summon on this banner easton is one of my favorite units in the game and the summer version is actually the better version of easton right now i'm gonna put them on maybe because again a lot of people like summer easton and valenti a ton if you're going for meta they don't work as well they only work for like lost vein meliotis uh summer easton is really on that team uh for red fat king currently i'm thinking he's gonna be a free unit so again he goes under hell no you're planning on summoning on uh danafor liz uh do not do that at all i'm telling Telling you if you're summoning on these you are wild my guy awakened mono is a good unit but it's again it falls under the hell no following up we got halloween roxy and shin i'm gonna be honest with you now i'm throwing up assault mode over here on summon let's think about this now for free to play players and every player at this moment in time you guys probably have saved if you summon on sorry don't worry about it sorry a good unit but at this moment in time you guys probably have about let's say 600 to a thousand diamonds i'm hoping you guys have been saving these two banners will literally take out an arm and a leg from you it'll be 800 gems you guys will be spending to get these units with that logic that means every other banner is a hell I'll know because again there is no chance you can summon on multiple banners when you're summoning on the one Escanor and Assault Mode Meliodas. You guys are using up so many gems, literally what, four or five, six months worth of gems. Every other unit kind of gets thrown away onto hell no. These are the meta units. These are the units you guys need. Without these, you're going to be getting destroyed in PvP by the one and the Assault Mode Meliodas because of how broken these units are. Right now, a lot of people are using the Broken Sariel team and it's kind of annoying to play PvP at this moment in time. To be honest with you, if you don't summon on these two units, you guys won't have a counter to the meta for a really really long time but again personally these banners are fun banners if you want to summon you can but to be honest with you this video was just to tell you you have to be summoning on these two units reminder rezero is coming out and i saw a lot of people talking about how they're going to skip the one esconer for rezero i know rezero might not be broken units but again they're really fun units and for collab units they're not probably going to ever come back 
so let's say that there were stranger things or there was re-zero personally i would summon on those two banners a solo on meliodas will come out you will get slapped in pvp for a while but he will come back out for collab banners though they will not come out and again if you miss that chance to get it the first time you can never get it again we currently don't know if collab banners ever have a chance of coming back out for right now they don't so just remember keep your diamonds safe make sure you guys are spending them wisely right now hell no please do not spend on these banners halloween shin and roxy really they're not that great units awaken mono definitely not red fat gang what the hell are you doing liz no she'll be on every free banner and please don't summon on a lane please don't summer east and summer valenti are good units but i want you guys to save for the one escanor and assault mode meliodas as i said before do keep in mind who knows what happens with the collaborations but that's honestly been it for me let me know what your guys plans are i think everyone has the same plan as i have for a free to play player i currently have like 1.25k gems on my account at this moment in time if net marble on global doesn't rush it i will be able to summon both on the one escort and assault mode meliodas let's say re-zero comes out in the middle or stranger things comes out in the middle my gems will definitely be thrown away on those banners i'm sorry but definitely my gems are going for re-zero you can't lie i know you're gonna do it too but again let me know what you guys are thinking about this but for my opinion right now net Marvel is doing the dash they're speed running this be ready for a stacked banner after stacked banner Within the next few weeks, they have to sandwich all of these units. Net Marble currently is trying to fill the gap between JP and Global. They're trying to have it where they both release the same day with the same unit and all of that type of thing. That is a lot for Net Marble to do, so we'll see how they plan that out. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and notifications on because that helps out a ton. That's been it for me. I'll catch you guys next one. Good luck, everyone, on what you guys choose to summon for. Laters.